Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to bring you is season 5 episode 5 of City signings now yesterday Bradford City completed the permanent transfer of Liam Reidhalg I believe I'm pronouncing that right from Tranmere Rovers on a two year deal it's another left back so a bit of competition for Matty Folds but just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on it can we try and hit 60 likes as always on these City signings videos that will be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers trying to hit that by the end of the year so if you could subscribe that would be massively massively appreciated it's obviously free to do and this morning just as I recall this the fixtures have been announced as well so we'll talk about that briefly a little bit after I've spoken about our new signing it seems to be another one a bit like Lee Angle it's got mixed opinions Tranmere fans seem to not rate him very highly but yeah he seems to be very injury prone as well if you look at his career stats we'll have a look at more, a bit more into detail in that the amount of games that he's played he's struggled to make 30 games really throughout his whole career in his season but make sure you drop a like and subscribe and let's get on with today's video so yesterday at two minutes past seven in the evening Bradford City tweeted saying welcome to Liam Reidhalg who arrives at the Utility Energy Stadium on a two-year deal the article does then read Bantams welcome Reidhalg on board Halli oh sorry the experienced defender arrives at the Utility Energy Stadium after eight seasons at Tramere Rovers where he enjoyed two promotion campaigns Halifax born Reichhald graduated from the Huddersfield Town Academy in 2010, having joined the club in 2003. So he was. He started his football career before I was even born. That is quite interesting, isn't it? He has also served spells at Rotherham, Swindon and Chesterfield. Reichhold said, I'm really glad to have got the deal done and I cannot wait to get going and I'm really excited for the to the season ahead. Bradford City is a massive football club. I am local to the area and know exactly what both the supporters and manager require. I play I played against a Derek Adams team in the playoffs last season. His sides, his sides are hard working and strong mentally, so I know what is expected. We are in League 2 at the moment but I know our aim is to get further than this division it is clearly an ambitious football club the new manager has come in and has past experience of getting promoted from this league there are a few players in the camp who have been there and done it as well I think this is a championship club so hopefully this year we can be right up there Bantam's boss Derek Adams said we are delighted to be welcoming Liam on board as our fifth new recruit of the summer when I first arrived at the club he was one of the very first names on our list. So to have got the deal completed ahead of pre-season is hugely encouraging. He's a well-cultured player with plenty of quality and experience at left-back, having played close to 400 games in his career. Liam is from around the area and lives locally as well. So he's well aware of what this football club means and what is requir required to represent it. We welcome him to Bradford City and are looking forward to seeing him in action when we begin pre-season trading next week. Reidhalg will be sponsored by Urban Esquire for the 2021-22 season. His signing is subject to the relevant EFL and FA clearances. Now before I get into my thoughts, I just want to speak a little bit about the amount of games he's actually played um, throughout his career. So he he's mainly has operated as a left back, but he has played left midfield sometimes, he's played centre back and he's even played right back on a few occasions. But in the 2020-21 season, he played 24 times for Tramir Rovers. Uh, then in the 2019-20 season, he played 29 times, scoring once. So as you can tell already, he does struggle to... I don't know if it's fitness or Tramier just got other players, but then a couple seasons before that, he had uh, in 18-19, only 18 appearances. In 14-15, only 18 appearances. In 12-13, only 20 appearances. So, for some reason, I don't know what that reason is, whether it is injury. A couple of Tramier fans seem to think he is a little bit injury prone. He has struggled to really make 30 appearances in a season. Obviously, we're probably going to play around 50 to 55 games throughout the whole season, including cup competitions and all that sort of stuff. But make sure to get your thoughts in down in the comments below what are your thoughts on Lee, uh, Liam Reidhalg I believe I believe I'm pronouncing it right if I'm pronouncing it wrong correct me down in the comments below what are your thoughts on Liam signing on a two year deal from Tramia Rovers I'd be interested to hear some of the Tramia fans thoughts as well if there's any Tramia fans watching this you know he's been with them for 7-8 seasons so he, you know they, they must have seen something in him um, I'm not too sure who will be the first choice left back? Will it be Rydhaug maybe until he gets injured and then Matty Folds or will it be Matty Folds and Rydhaug just providing the experience to cover? But the fact Derek Adams has said that he was one of the one of the first targets on his list makes me think he probably will go with Rydhaug as his first choice. I'm just going to read a couple of replies from Tramia fans to obviously our tweet announcing Liam Rydhaug. Uh, someone here says, you've got yourselves a really solid left back for this league, solid defensively and happy to push up and got... 
a mean cross on him which Cook will love. Club legend for us and upset we haven't keeping him. Another solid signing, congratulations on the promotion. A very good all round player, certainly does his job at the back and has a very good left foot on him. Rides has been through thick and thin with Tramia Rovers, solid muscular left back with a great delivery. Not a great amount of pace and average from a technical point of view, but an honest player who will fit into the way Adams wants to play if he's going low possession slash counter attack again. Uh, brilliant player, sad to see him go. Uh, yeah, he's decent. I would have liked him to stay, but was uh, it was only going to be back up to Callum McDonald. Always gives 100% and got a great left peg on him. All the best, great signing. Um, good luck, look after him broken heart look after him so Tramia fans seem to well I mean it seems to be very hit or miss like some fans seem to think he's a legend some think that maybe he's outstayed his welcome maybe he's just you know gone on a little bit too long so I would be very interested to hear anyone's thoughts down in the comments below personally I think you know he's had experience at 30 years age on a two-year deal maybe we should have gone with a one-year deal but you know because if he, if he has got an injury problem then you don't really want to be signing someone on a two-year deal and then we have another Ishmael another Joe Riley something like that so yeah maybe I would have gone with a one-year deal but it's, some, it's quite clear to see that Adams and Ryan Sparks everybody else and Lee Turnbull everybody else involved see something a bit more long term in Ride August. Obviously as I've said, experienced, you know, it sounds like he's got a good delivery as well, which last season Connor Wood he just kind of was wasn't up to his best. And we all know Connor Wood, fantastic player, you know, we when he when we got relegated, obviously he was second choice to Adam Chickson. He then got his chance under Gary Boyer, did quite well, and the season just gone, he kind of just looked average pretty much every game. He had two or three games where he looked, you know, back to his best, but apart from that, he just didn't really, I don't know, it feels like he didn't have much competition. Maybe he didn't feel pressured by Matty Folds, so maybe Matty Folds, if he is the number one, he obviously will be pressured by Ride Howe, because every footballer obviously wants to play games, no one wants to be sitting on the bench as much as them the new dugout seats do look very comfy um and, you know i think right out fantastic addition experience sounds like he's got a good delivery doesn't seem like the quickest or the best on the ball but at league two you're not going to get someone like a an alfonso davies a jordi alba type player are you so overall i think it's a good signing so i would be interested to hear your thoughts down in the comments down below and then just before we end today's video i just want to briefly touch on the fixture list that got released so our first game Com our first competitive game, should I say, when fans do return, fingers crossed it should be no restrictions and all that sort of stuff, by August the 7th, you know, we should have everything lifted, well everything should have been lifted on Monday, but it's been pushed back for some reason to July the 19th, so hopefully by August 7th we have no restrictions or anything like that, and the first away game, or well, the first game will be away to Exeter, so a big test there for Derek Adams' side. The first home game then is Oldham at home on the 14th of August. The first Tuesday night game is Stevenage at home on um, August 17th. The first Tuesday night away game will be Tramia Rovers away on November 23rd. So it depends what days I have college on. Um, I'm not gonna be going to every game, I don't think this season, unless we're winning every game. I just simply can't afford it. So if there's any sponsors about, you know, anyone fancy sponsoring the vlogs for the season, then uh, we'll be massively appreciated. But games like Crawley away, I'm not really interested in. I've seen that, I think it's Hartlepool is an away game on a Tuesday night, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to go to that. I'll try, but I don't really know. We've got Harrogate away on the 5th of uh, February. Harrogate, for some reason, are gassing that up as a derby. We've got Stevenage away on a Tuesday. Of course, Oldham away is in the February. When is Oldham away? Not in a February. Uh, we've got Bristol Rovers away on the 2nd of April. Northampton away on the 9th of April. We end the season with Sutton away on the 30th of April. And then the final game of the season is at home to Carlisle. Now, there's not really many massive clubs in this league anymore. You know, I think the bigger size clubs in this league are probably uh, uh, Bristol Rovers, uh, Exeter maybe, I don't really know, Tramia probably up there as well, there's not really any big boys in this league anymore like a Bolton, so you know we quite clearly are the biggest club in the league, but that's the fixture list, what's your thoughts on the fixtures, do you think we've got an easy start, an easy running, do you think we've got a hard start, a hard running, I would be very interested to know your thoughts down in the comments below, as well as what are your thoughts on Bradford City signing Liam Reichel from Tramere Rovers on a two-year deal. As I said, get your thoughts in down in the comments below and uh, yeah, feel free to correct me if I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Make sure you drop a like on today's video, 60 likes, as I said, at the start of the video. That would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. As I said, we are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you could subscribe, that would be massively, massively appreciated. Make sure you come over and follow me on, follow me on Twitch the start of the eight-hour streams, five days a week, started yesterday. We streamed for eight and a half hours. But by the time you're watching this, I will be live. I'm going live at about 12, 
12 to 1 most days now. So make sure you come over and check me out. We'll be live until about 9 o'clock. Football Manager, GTA, Warzone, Fortnite, Euros reactions, all that sort of stuff. Make sure you come over there and drop me a follow. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.